Hi everyone, this is a, just a quick video tutorial on how to do um, decentralized exchange triangle arbitrage using a smart contract that we're going to launch on the Binance Smart Chain smart contract network. So the first step you can do is um, I'll go ahead and, and put the link to the GitHub where the smart contract's at. So you can download that. I just put it right here on my desktop. Just a notepad with um, a bunch of solid code inside of it. So we're going to have that. Now we're going to open up a web browser. We're going to go to Remix. Remix.ethereum.org this is the official um, outlet where you launch smart contracts at. Now, it'll give you a little option when you go up here. If you want to prove, you can um, have them record stuff. And I'm not quite sure. I, I always decline. I'm more of a private person. And you can, that's just going to bring you through a tour of how to use stuff. We're going to skip over that. You're welcome to go over that later. First thing we're going to go to is this little thing here. Create a new file. I'm going to click on that. And we'll call this my, um, we'll call it my money maker. We have a, let's call it my money maker. Now it has to end with dot S O L. So you can basically call whatever you want, but it has to end with dot dot um S O L. I'm gonna go enter. And it created our file. So we're gonna go I'm gonna copy all this. And um for me, um for some reason I can't use the normal um copy and paste from the mouse. I have to actually go, I have to click in here and go control V to paste it in. I'm gonna click OK. We go over here to down here is the solid compiler. So we are up here. We're gonna go down to this thing here with the little swooshing arrows. Click on that. And we're gonna click on compile my moneymaker.sol. And I'll compile that up. Now I should point out um, when I do this, it automatically changes the right compiler. Um, depending on what kind of browser you use, you might have to manually put in 0 0.8. Um, zero by selecting the compiler you want. Um, first, I try to just click on compile. It should change it. It does for me on Firefox. So after you get a green check mark on the compiler, you can go down here and go to deploy and run transaction. You can go to the environment. You can change that to inject provider MetaMask. MetaMask will be popped up. I'm going to pause it real quick and enter my password. Okay, so I entered my password and I'm logged into my account. If you never went to MetaMask, it will pop up and ask you um, to give, um, I mean, not MetaMask, um, Remix. Um, .ethereum.org got permission to um, um, send you um, transactions to approve, which you're going to have to do to launch a smart contract. Um, I have some BNB in my account. You're going to need some BNB to launch and fund your contract. So after that, we're going to go to deploy. Make sure the contract you're deploying is the DEX triangle arbitrage um, slash whatever you named your file. I named mine my moneymaker.sol. You're going to click deploy. And it'll pop up and ask you to approve the contract. Um, you want to make sure you have the gas suggestion on MetaMask selected where you can go and suggest the gas. You can go to advanced. You're going to change the gas base fee. It's a little bit more than what it was on there. So I'm going to put mine at 25. And priority fee. I'm going to change mine to 25. Now, if it shows above that number, um, go ahead and go a little bit above it. Um, but that should work for now. I'm going to go to save. We're going to go to confirm. And down, now down here, we have deployed contracts. And this guy up here down here, we're going to click on this little arrow thing. And now we have a few buttons. And over here, we have this little copy thing. This is going to copy our contract address. You want to make sure you get a notepad and keep this. Because now when you want to, hey, I want to run Triangle Arbitrage again, you want to relaunch another contract. This is now your personal Triangle Arbitrage contract. So copy that and put it in a notepad. Once you do that, you're going to, you're going to have to send funding to your contract. Because we're going to just call upon that. And that's where it does the Triangle Arbitrage. So I'm going to send, it's my contract address. So I'm going to send 0 0.0.75. 0 I'm going to send that to my contract. Okay. So I make yes. Okay. So we're going to confirm. And we we'll have to wait for that to interact and send to our contract. I thought it would take a couple seconds. Okay. So once that confirms and it's in the contract, we're going to go to start arbitrage. Just click off of there. Go to start arbitrage. We're going to click on that. We're going to go on site suggested fees, make sure these are all okay looking. Okay, so I'm going to go put on 25 on that and adjust that to 25 and make sure it goes through. And the gas limit you want, the gas limit to be above 96,000. And right now, it predetermined the gas limit is at 102,000, so we're good on that. So I'm going to go save and then we can go confirm. And that's going to take a minute. Now confirm that. Did it go through? I think it did. So status and down here is a debugger. So you can see if it goes through. And our contract was mine successful. If you have a green check mark, that means we're mine successful. Let's go back and see what we got in here. 
Wow. Look at that. So after it does the triangle arbitrage, it will send to the address it launches the contract, which is you're launching the contract. So it'll automatically be locked into that address and it'll return the money that it made from triangle arbitrage back to your main account or your contract they used to launch the, um, or your Ethereum address you used to launch the contract is the payment address. Um, now, if you want to do it again, you just go over the same steps again. You go back to funding your contract. You click on copy, go to send, send more money in there to your contract, and then you'd run it again. It's that simple. You see like tons of people doing it. Now, sometimes you're going to run it and it won't it won't make anything, but your, your money's still in your contract. It just hasn't found an arbitrage. So the best time to do it, I found, is between 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time all the way up to almost, I would say, 2 o'clock um, a.m. Eastern time. Seems to be a very good time when um, there's a big fluctuation in um, different decentralized exchanges. Also, if there's um, big turmoil in the market, it's a great time. You'll, you'll see the movement is huge. I hope I covered everything, and I hope this helps you. Um, this has really helped me during the pandemic to stay afloat, and I hope it helps you guys. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.